In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can build your first Vue.js project using Feet to get started. Now, what is Vue.js? Vue.js is a framework built on JavaScript um, that allows you to make front-end web applications. It's a progressive JavaScript framework, as it says it on the uh, website here. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to build our first project here. Now, just as some prerequisites for this video, you need to have a basic understanding of web development, including JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Um, and you also need to have Node.js installed on your computer. Now, if you do not have Node.js installed, I have a video that can help you. Check the description down below to get started. All right, let's get started with building our first uh, project. Now, the first thing we want to do is we need a folder or a file or somewhere we can build a, a new project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my projects folder, my YouTube, and I am going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this the... A uh, few getting started with few JS like that. Open this up. I'm going to right click this, show more options, and I'm going to click open with code, which is Visual Studio Code. Now you don't have to use Visual Studio Code. It's just what I'm going to be using for this tutorial, so it'll be easier for you to follow along. Now, first things first, we need to get our project started. So we need an actual terminal. Um, so this is where the Node.js installation will come in handy. We need to actually get started with basically a package from uh, Feet. So to create our first project, I'm going to say npm create Feet at latest. Now, after this, this will create us a feet project. However, we need to give this a project folder name or a directory, a folder structure, wherever we want this to be created. Uh, and usually you would give it a name, let's say my project. However, I'm going to put a dot. Now, what a dot means is I want to create it inside the current folder we are working with. Uh, and then I'm going to say dash 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 template view to give us the view template. Now, if I hit enter, this will start creating our thing. It's going to ask us to give it a name. Uh, I'm just going to hit tab so that you can see that generated the name for it here. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to go to view by hitting enter. And then I'm going to select JavaScript. You can use TypeScript if you want to. I'm just going to use JavaScript for the ease of this video. You don't have to know TypeScript to actually get started here. So just hit enter and there you go. It generates the stuff here. Now, we're going to run npm install. This will install our nodes dependencies we need for this project. All right, I just want to go over the current structure of the Vue.js project. Um, I'm just going to close this here just so you know what we're working with. So we have a feet config here. Now this you probably won't have to touch it to get into more advanced feet stuff. Uh, but this is where the config for the feet project is and resides. We then have the package which obviously has the scripts here. So you have the dev which will run a dev server. The build which will run a build and a preview. First thing we would do is we're going to go to index.html. Now this is our... Um, our index, our root file for our project. We have a title. Now we can change this. I'm going to say getting started with view. Hit save. There you go. And then we have a script here of main.js. Now this is referencing our main script here, which will tie everything in our view project together. And you can see we're using a type of module to allow imports and stuff like that. So the public folder, however, is a public area for your images, icons, and all of that. This is where you would put your uh, images for your project. Anything you want to be publicly accessible, you can put in here, which I recommend doing. And then everything in your source code will be compiled into a distribution folder when you actually run the build command. So let's start off at the start and let's have a look at our main JS. Now in here we have some imports. We have a create app import which is how we create our few projects. We're importing our style sheet which has some base styles and we're importing our app which is our main root view file which is going to be mounted to the HTML element with an ID of app which is inside of our index.html. Uh, and that's all what we really need to know about this for this tutorial. This will just run off the bat. The main file we're going to be working in is inside, is inside of the app.view folder. Now let's actually run this before I explain any further so you can see what this actually makes. So let's just do npm run dev um, and we can close that because it will just, oh actually no saying that. I'm going to press Alt and click this to actually open it up. And there you go. You can see here, this is the default project you get when you create a feet plus view project. And we can click this counter, 
like his ass a reactive state here to actually set a counter up. Now we've got that all set up and ready to go. Let's minimize this and let me explain what's going on here. So you can see here we have those two logos at the top here, uh, which are being imported at the top. And then we have a hello world component. Now a component is an external or a separate file you can import inside of a few template. And I'll explain this all in a second. Um, which allows you to actually separate or split your code up into different things. You can see here we have a separate file here pulling in the rest of this detail here. Now let me explain what all of this is. So inside of the view file we have three main uh, elements. We have a script, a template and a style. Now for this video we're not going to be using the style in the app.view file. Um, we're just going to delete that. That style allows you to add in your CSS inside of this single file component. It, the script is our Java script. All of our uh, functionality will go inside of the script. But for this, we don't need this import. We can delete this because we're going to be creating our own component. And as you can see, the import here says hello world. And you can see we have a hello world component here, which we are going to delete as well. So we're going to delete both of those just for now. And then everything else in here inside the template is what's rendered to your screen. It's the HTML for the page. So I'm just going to create a diff as a wrapper for our app. And we're going to put a h1 in here and call it hello world. Just save that. Go back to our page. And you can say it says hello world here dead in the center, which is lovely. Now this styling is all coming from this style.css. Now I'm not going to change anything here. I'm just going to leave it as is. I am going to delete this button styling because I want to create our own custom button uh, component but everything else I'm just going to leave because it doesn't affect our project at all so I'm just going to close that and I'm going to go into our components and I'm just going to delete the hello world because we're going to create our own component. I'm going to right click new file and we're going to create a C button dot view component. Now the C button I'm just calling it C button so it's not just button. Uh, C stands for custom in this case. Uh, you don't you don't have to follow this name instruction. You can name your component whatever you want as long as you import it with the correct name. Now we're going to start off with a template file in here and we're going to have a button and inside this button we can actually call something called slot now in Vue.js, if you were to have this slot you would import this button as c button and it would be c button forward slash like this and you'd obviously have to import it in here so let's just quickly import c button from and we're going to say slash component slash c button dot view save and now this will import this and we could just say my button inside of this and this should just work as is so we get my button right here which is great you can see that's there however whams if you want to change what's inside of this button so you can see here we have a button but i don't actually want this to be in here i want this to be a wrapper for our button so what i want to do is i would delete this and we can use something called a slot now a slot basically changes it from rendering like this to being an actual HTML template like this. And then anything we put inside of here, let's just say hello or click me. This will now render on the side of our page like that. So you can even put HTML in here. We can add a span called test just to test. And there you go, you can see that comes in as well. You can do whatever you want inside of here. This has now become a wrapper for slot. You can have stuff in here. So we can add a span called test here. And you can see that is added there as well. Uh, it's just a way of allowing you to pass stuff through. But in here, we want to create a class, or even we don't even need a class for this, but I'm going to just for the test, and we're going to call it button class. Um, and we're just going to style this. Now, to style this, we're going to create a style, and we're going to use a scoped attribute here. Now, this means anything this anything we write in this style file will only apply to what's inside of this button or what's on this button. So all we're going to do is just say dot button and we're just going to say uh, background uh, crimson color white um, just for now just so we can see a little bit of styling. There you go you can see we've got a nice style. There you go simple button here simple component which we've imported in here and that's technically our first um, page here all done but let's make this a bit more complex. And let's add a counter to our button. So we want to add some functionality. So now we could actually add the functionality inside of here or outside of the component. So let's start with outside the component. So we're going to say import ref from view. Now ref is a reactive variable for Vue.js. So let me show you how to use it. So we could do const count is equal to ref zero. 
Now we want to display this count down here. So we're going to create a, well, let's actually create a diff for this. And we're going to say uh, count. And this is going to pass our count inside of here. Now, if we want to modify or add a click event to this, so when you click it, it does something. It's very simple in future. Yes, we just say at click is equal to, and then we can pass in the function we want. So we're going to say count plus plus. Hit save, go back, and as you see, when we click this, it counts up. However, I just want to show you that this doesn't have to be like this. You can actually write a function up here. So let's just say count up. Um, and essentially, this is it. Now, you can see here, this is said count.value instead of just standard count. Now, the reason being is a ref is actually not, it's, it's a constant. So you can't change the value here. You have to change the value in a sub um a sub value an object um, and what we're doing is we're going here and we're getting the value and then we're adding plus plus but when you use the count inside of the template it net it, it no longer becomes a constant here it becomes basically something you can change in here because it basically defers the value straight here now to call this function we're just going to say count up and all we do, no exchange, it still works. And that is going to be it for this video, guys. It was a very simple, short video on how you create your first project. I wanted to just get the basics out there. So if you enjoyed this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Okay, guys, you can actually get the source code available on my Patreon. The link is down below. So if you want the source code, you can actually go get it from there. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.